Nanny Lauren Kamala angrily exposed Megan evade her salary to pay the $4,000 membership at San Vicente Bungalow's club. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are paying £3,400, $4,200, to be members of one of the most exclusive clubs in Los Angeles. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are claimed to have bought membership to one of Los Angeles' most exclusive private clubs, according to Page Six. The royal couple were photographed at the San Vicente Bungalows, a chic West Hollywood hotspot owned by hotelier Jeff Klein shortly after they were asked to vacate their UK residence, Frogmore Cottage. The club, which is a two-hour drive away from their £12 million, $14.7 million, Montecito mansion, hosts bigger stars than the royal couple of sources claimed. Lauren is a professional nanny who is from Zimbabwe who was hired by the Sussexes in 2018 to help care for their firstborn, Archie. She also reveals that she even got a speeding ticket on the way to Frogmore Cottage to meet the royals because she was so eager. So eager, but Lauren was quickly disillusioned when he embarked on a job as a nanny. In an interview with The Sun after quitting his job at Montecito Mansion, Lauren had quite humorous feelings about Meghan Markle. I thought she was a decent and likable person until Meghan evaded my salary many times just because she used it to pay for the annual membership fee of the San Vicente Bungalows Club. I was very upset and told her that if she stayed like this we wouldn't be able to work together for long term and no one would look after Archie as carefully as I did. She didn't hesitate to fire me and I happily agreed even though she still didn't pay me a dime. I heard that after I left, Archie's other nannies were in the same situation, so I just wanted to say a few things for everyone to know. I hope she changes. Lauren even accompanied the couple on their South Africa tour, when Archie was just four months old. It has since been revealed that there was a dramatic moment when Archie's nursery caught fire, but luckily he was with Lauren at the time and not in his room which got engulfed in flames. A club member told Page Six. I know that San Vicente has a back door for celebrities, so no one needs to see you coming and going. They're really all about privacy. They have way bigger stars than Harry and Meghan coming in and no one will ever know they're there. But Harry and Meghan said, we are fine and that they didn't need to use it. And even when they left, they used the main entrance. It comes as a Redfield and Wilton survey conducted for Newsweek revealed that Prince Harry's net approval rating fell from minus 7% in January to minus 10% on February 19. Harry approval rating has dropped significantly by 48 points since December 5 where he had a positive score of 38%. Meanwhile, Meghan's rating fell by 23% since then after being at minus 13% in January. A source told Us Weekly, Meghan has been keeping her head down in Montecito, taking care of the kids and working on projects that are coming up in the months ahead. They added that Meghan has been happy to let Harry take center stage. He's flying all over the place to promote Spare but most of the time he's returning home to Montecito and not staying out of town very often because he wants to be with the kids. Netflix announced the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's explosive recent series is its second highest ranked documentary ever. Harry and Meghan began its release on December 8, in the lead up to the publication of the Duke's controversial memoir Spare, and saw damaging claims leveled at the royal family throughout six episodes. Netflix reported its fourth quarter earnings on Thursday and disclosed a gain of 7.7 .7 million subscribers during the October to December period, a stretch that included the debut of an ad supported option for $7, £5 and 65 pence per month. As defined by cumulative view hours in the first 28 days, it also reported on Wednesday as its third most popular series ever. Glass Onion its fourth most popular film and Harry and Meghan its second most successful documentary series.
Nanny Lauren Kamala angrily exposed Megan evade her salary to pay the $4,000 membership at San Vicente Bungalows Club. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are paying £3,400, $4,200, to be members of one of the most exclusive clubs in Los Angeles. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are claimed to have bought membership to one of Los Angeles' most exclusive private clubs, according to Page Six. The royal couple were photographed at the San Vicente Bungalows, a chic West